Your cats in my garden. What? Your cats in my garden. I think you've got the wrong number. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Is this the Murphy residence? Yes. Your cats in my garden. Well, there's about a hundred Murphys in the phone book. You've just got the wrong one. Goodbye. Hello? Your cat's in my garden. My cat is not in your garden. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Look, it's four o'clock in the morning and you've got the wrong number. So could you please stop calling me? Your cat's in my garden. Don't you care? No! I don't care! Because I don't have any damn cat! I hate cats! And I hate you! So stop bothering me! in your garden. So you admit it? No, I don't admit it! You just said your cat was in my garden. Which Murphy were you calling? I was calling you. What's my name? You mean you don't know? Yes, I know! Then what are you asking me for? Look, Miss... Phoebe. <laughs> There's a problem. I don't know anybody named Phoebe. You know me. No, I don't know you. Yes, you do. Your cat's in my garden. <laughs> what is my cat doing in your garden, Phoebe? Wait a minute. Let me look. When I first called, she was having sexual intercourse. Well, I presume that's what it was. There was certainly a hell of a lot of screaming going on. Cats are a lot like people, don't you think? You really might want to consider getting her fixed. What? It must be somebody. It's just some girl who says my cat is her garden. Who's that? Mrs. Murphy? No, it's not. You're not cheating on Mrs. Murphy, are you? There is no Mrs. Murphy. Johnny, who is that? It's Phoebe. Phoebe who? I don't know. So you're sleeping with a woman you're not married to, is that it? Yes, Phoebe, that's it. That is exactly it. I'm sleeping with a woman I'm not married to. I hope that doesn't shock you too much. You told me you weren't seeing anybody. I'm not seeing anybody. Then who's that woman? I'm not talking to you, Phoebe. I'm talking to Jill. I want to know who Phoebe is and I want to know right now. It's a wrong number. Then how do you know her name? We were just talking. Why are you talking to a wrong number? Because she won't shut up. <laughs> Why do you just hang up the phone? Because she keeps calling back. Why would a wrong number keep calling back? She says my cat in her garden. You don't have a cat. I know that. That's it. I'm leaving. No, wait, wait, Jill. I have the truth, I swear. Wait, Phoebe. Will you tell Jill why you called, please? Okay. Talk to her. I don't want to talk to her. Talk to her. What have you got to lose? Hello? Hi, Jill. Who is this? This is Phoebe. Listen, Jill, does Mrs. Murphy know you're there? <laughs> John said he wasn't married. I'm not married! Phoebe, just tell her about the cat, all right? I don't sleep with married men. I don't blame you. Say that! Will you just tell her about the damn cat? All right, all right. Boy, men get hysterical when their cats run away. Don't they, Jill? There's no cat here. I know. She's in my garden. And <laughs> she seems to be growing. So John gives me the cat when a woman sleeps over. Is that how this works? You mean he threw out the cat when he knew you were coming? Boy, is Mrs. Murphy going to be pissed. He says there is no Mrs. Murphy. Then who's that woman in the straw hat I see watering his flowers all the time? John, you son of a bitch! You are married! Phoebe, what the hell have you been telling her? That's it. I'm getting my stuff and I'm leaving. No, goodbye, uh, Phoebe. Wait, wait, Jill, I can explain this for well, some of it. Hello? 
how are you? It's Jill, all right? I think we got disconnected. Jill has locked herself in the bathroom with her clothes and turned on the shower. Gee, I hope she's not gonna cut her throat or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a serious option to me at this point. Well, you shouldn't be cheating on your wife like that. I'm not married! Then you shouldn't be cheating on the woman in the straw hat! Phoebe, I am not the person you think I am! Wait a minute. There's something happening in the garden. What? My cat is eating your watermelons? Maybe that's not your cat after all. Oh, no! It's my cat, Phoebe. My cat loves watermelons. This seems to be a lot bigger than a cat. There's a very large object moving in my garden. Maybe it's a bear. It could be a bear. I don't know. It seems... What? It's doing the tango, isn't it, Phoebe? No, but it seems to have... Notice me. John, this is kind of scary. It's so dark out there, I can't really see it clearly, but it seems to be coming towards the house. Phoebe, are you on drugs? No, <laughs> just bathroom, but it doesn't work on me. This is pretty scary. You live, Phoebe! Yes, you do. I live right next door. Nobody lives next door to me, Phoebe. There's woods on one side and an empty house on the other. It's not empty. It's my house. It is in your house. Just Nobody lives there. This thing is right up against the window. It's looking in the window at me. You've got to help me. Take it easy, Phoebe. Just tell me your address. It's right next to your address, John. It's banging against the window. It wants in my house. Just tell me your last name, and I will look up your address in the phone book. You know my last name! <laughs> oh my god. It broke the glass. John, get over here right now. I mean it. Right now. <laughs> Phoebe? Did you hang up? Hello? 